Hey guys, what's up? It's Sordoro here. And in this video, I'm going to help you guys out. Okay, as you can tell from the title, this has got some pretty crucial information. I'm going to tell you how to get every single Legacy boss map. I know, I know. I, I'm... I really am too kind. I'm aware of this. But it's okay. Because I love you guys. I mean it. I do. That being said, okay, if you've been watching my Dragon Quest IX strategy videos, you are aware that I've finished the Grotto bosses and I will be getting into the Legacy bosses now. But you want to fight them too, don't you? I assume that's the case. Ugh. Um, so yeah, as you, as you would have seen if you'd watched it, okay, we ended with Grain Arm. Okay, Grain Arrow has a 2% chance to drop Dragon Lord's map. Dragon Lord, we're gonna we're gonna go with him as the first legacy boss we're going we're dealing with. Okay. Legacy bosses are interesting if you've noticed in the videos that I posted and the fact that when you beat them, you can level them up. The first time you obtain a legacy boss map through the in-game methods, you get them at level one. And there's no grotto, there's no dungeon you have to explore, it's just the legacy boss. You go in there, you fight them, you get your items, you win, you know, you come off feeling pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you level them up. The thing is, when you level them up, you get different drops. Now, in the strategy videos, I will tell you all the drops you can get. But for now, we're covering this, the, the simple stuff, okay? Dragon Lord. As you get, as you level them up to 16, and 16 is going to be a special number, okay? He gains the ability to drop Pissarro's map. Okay, really low chance to drop it, but he will. And he'll start dropping it at 16. So you can choose to keep leveling up your legacy bosses, or to keep them at 16, which is what I did in the beginning. The next legacy boss you can get is Ninzo. The fat guy, you know, from Dragon Quest V. To get his legacy map, you need to beat Pissarro at level 16 or up. 116, Pissarro has a chance to drop Nimzo's map. However, Nimzo doesn't drop any maps of his own, so you're done with that tree. Once you have Dragon Lord, Pissarro, and Nimzo, you don't have to worry about getting... You can't get any new legacy bosses through those means. Now, the next set is a bit interesting, and I'm about to shift the video to show you how to get Baramos' map, or for more, to be more specific, where to get it. Okay, to show you where to get Baramos' map, we're starting here at Stormway. First, what we need you to do is to zoom to Swine Dimples Academy. Just want to make sure you get a good feel of the area so we can continue. Okay, next, what you're going to want to do is use Sterling's Whistle. I'm assuming you have this because all legacy bosses can only be obtained after you've beaten the game. Now this use I want up here in the corner, you're going to want to go to it. Now if you've just beaten the game, there are some tough enemies around here, so you're going to have to be careful. I'm kind of lost. Alright, now if you come down here, you'll see this cave on the, you know, the frozen coast. In this cave, you don't act, yeah, do you see this guy right here, Mr. Bones? Okay, now I've already done the quest, that's why I don't get anything. Okay, do you see all that? The cell marauders and everything? Okay, the quest has you go to the um, the place where you fought Leviathan near near Port Laffin. Okay, in there, you kill the cell marauders until you get uh, the scrub paper. Bring it back to him, we'll finish the quest and get you Baramos' map. So, there you go. Now you got no excuses.
Alright, now that you know where to get Bearmost's map, we can continue. Once you level up your buddy Bearmost to 16, ah uh, yeah, you can tell the familiar routine, he has a chance to drop Murdaw's map. And, per tradition, when you get Murdaw up to 16, he has a chance to drop Dual Magus's map. Now, at this point, you have six legacy bosses and you're set. Actually, that's all you can do. For for now, for now, that's all you can do. Dulmaeus doesn't drop any new maps, so once you have Bearmos and then obtain Murdoch and Dulmaeus' map, there's no more legacy bosses for you. But, if you're wondering how and when you get the other legacy boss maps, I'll tell you. The other legacy boss maps have been handed out at really random events. I've gotten a few because Nintendo hosted the events at Game Stops across the country, Best Buys, and the Simon Mall events. But of course the other Legacy Boss maps were given out at events like PAX, Comic Con, and over in Europe, uh, the GamesCon. So if you're wondering, well what the heck Roto, when are you going to get these maps? I'll tell you. Okay. As long as you're able to connect to a Wi-Fi connection, you'll eventually be good. As you know, every Friday, Nint Nintendo's uh, the Nintendo updates the DQVC. And when you connect to it, Friday, it updates and you get new quests. As these quests roll out, you know, you get cool stuff. If you want Malroth's map, the DLC quest 151 will get you Malroth's map. Only one, though. If you repeat the quest, you get another item. Same for all of these. As Stark will be right after that for quest 152. The next up after him is Mortimer, and you get him from quest 158. Zoma comes from quest 167. Orgadomir comes from quest 176. Rapthorn, the fatty, comes from quest 179 and Nocturnus comes from the very last downloadable quest they're going to release quest 184 which we're not expected to get till like the middle of February of next year the good news is is by February of next year we'll have every legacy boss and every downloadable quest so at that point you will truly have gotten everything you can out of Dragon Quest 9 Anyways, I hope this video has been informative for you if you were curious about how you get these maps if you miss the events. You will get them, everyone will be able to get them. If you don't have a Wi-Fi connection at home, uh, go to a bookstore or McDonald's, you know, connect to their Wi-Fi connection, just connect up to the DQVC, bada bing bada boom, you've got your stuff. So, thanks for watching, I hope this helped uh, anybody out who is curious about Legacy Bosses, how to receive them, when they can receive them, etc, etc. And I wish you luck in your endeavors against fighting the bosses that previous heroes have fought. Yeah. Bye.